Alright, so this Walmart has a sign when you enter, no overnight parking per city code. So now I'm in a little bit of a bind. I find this area extremely difficult to deal with. You don't want to be caught overnight anywhere in this commercial area. I think cops will sweep it. You know, normally in a lot of lots as big as this, I'd feel kind of comfortable parking overnight in, like in Washington or Oregon. But in Idaho, the cops just sweep everything and harass everybody. It's really an awful experience. You're better off trying to find a hospital or a side street that's near neighborhoods. Alright, it's raining out this morning and I've decided to try a temporary fix. I have Gorilla Tape I've had for years. I barely use, I run through it pretty very slowly. And I decided to put it on the hole in my shoes on both both of my shoes. Who knows how long it'll last, but I'm thinking maybe I can try to get some r rubber cement and use my old bicycle tube. Maybe pull this tape off and then it's rubber cement my bicycle tube just to like the, the front portion of my shoe might hold up good. Okay, there's a green sign over there that says private property keep off. But as you can see, those ducks don't know how to read. It was a it was a it was a little bit of a challenge to try to find a place to sleep overnight, um, but I was able to find this side street that's in between the the uh, city hall and and residential, and then there's people parked like behind me and in front of me. So uh, it looks like I can uh, fit in pretty good, and, I, and I, I didn't get bothered, but it is the weekend, and I think a lot of times the cops get a little extra busy, but that's not always the case because I have gotten harassed on the weekends as well. There should probably be a rule where you only should hit one food bank per day, okay, I was really seriously thinking about hitting up this local food bank, which, I don't know, it's maybe 25, 30 minute walk from my car, because I don't want to drive there. But uh, I was thinking maybe I could drive there and then drive to the uh, one in Boise. They're both open about the same time, so it'd be kind of a rush. I'd, I'd get to the first one early, and then as soon as I got the food, just quickly jet over to the Boise one. But uh, why, what's the rush really? I mean, they usually give fresh food and, and I'll probably over overload on fresh food and then have some of it go to waste. I've wasted plenty of fresh food in the past just by uh, getting too much of it in particular. It's, it's something you got to eat really fast. And I don't know what this food bank is like. It could be scarce or it could be uh, bountiful. And I, I should probably just err on the side of it being bountiful uh, and just focus on one food bank and just this one. And as a general rule, probably one per day. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck this thing is. I see there's this information. Look at it later.
signs of spring are really starting to show around here. Really getting windy out here. Well, it's windy because I'm bicycling. Check this out, they allow cows in the city. This is a trailer court. <clears throat> you can kind of smell them. But that's a healthy property. There's actually green grass, regardless. They probably haven't had those cows there for very long.